What is going on people? It is your boy Daddy Mac and welcome back to a brand new Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. We're using our Rillaboom team. Really, we really excelled in the last video and the video before that. I'm not gonna spoil anything, although I probably already did, but you guys should go check it out. It's gonna be in the playlist down in the description down below, so be sure you guys check it out. We're against Lewis. Lewis is bringing a really fun team with the Toxtricity, the Inteleon, which is I really fear because of you, Fall Links, if you are watching this. Uh, the Mamoswine, Flapple, Chandelure is a really good Pokemon, and the Halucha. So his team is actually really cool. Though, what I'm going to do is start with the Lantern. If I need to, I'm going to Volt Switch out of there. And go from there because I'm, I, I, you know, I'm not going to base my game out of fear so what we're gonna do is just do what we've been doing this whole time start darmanitan and if necessary bolt switch from there most of his team goes down to darmanitan given that it's earthquake for example uh chandelure and the toxicity flare blitz or superpower to the mammoth swine that's it actually so his team is actually not it, it's well balanced it's not bad it's not a really bad team Probably as thick fat because of the flapple. I would run thick, thick fat. Oh, we're both rocking some really cool lead cards. We did update our lead card, by the way, and it is up. Oh, I dropped my remote, and it is awesome. I, I love our lead card. All right, so what are you gonna? Uh, Lewis is your name, right? Toxicity. This is actually perfect because now we can threaten this thing with an earthquake. Motor Soak Stadium. This this place is low is roaring. I, it doesn't show here like I'm recording the the audio for the capture card i hope it's picking it up that's okay we're gonna go ahead and hit this, hit this thing with an earthquake try to knock it out turn one because toxicity is a little bit of a threat and it's down it's really frail it sounds four weeks or earthquake and it goes down so darmanitan putting in some work just like it has been doing on these last battles before we go further make sure you guys let me know in the description down below who the mvp most valuable pokemon of these battles are going to be so let me know and talion comes out which is really scary i'm gonna switch into my lantern switch into lantern this thing is running assault vest and we're max defense oh this is physical a physical intent why do people run physical in talion that's, that's the second physical intelion we've seen through our entire playthrough in, in pokemon here so I think what I'm gonna do is go to the Skarmory. Uh, I'm I'm not really afraid of a physical Italian, if I'm being honest with you guys. So we're gonna go Skarmory here and tank the tank the hit. I'm running out of water. I've been recording two videos today. Two videos equivalent to three battles because we did two battles in the last video. Okay, so we're gonna Stealth Rock here. I think that's the best move we can do. Especially if this is a physical Inteleon. What you gonna do, Inteleon? U turn. That's fine. I'm, that's not gonna do anything to me at all. I'm gonna just recover that with leftovers. Did you lose some HP because of the Life Orb? I really respect Falling's uh, Inteleon. And if you guys have not watched that video, be sure that you guys check it out. The thumbnail, I, I don't remember what Wi Fi battle it is, but the thumbnail has Sil Valley and the, it's it really a Italian right in front of the Sil Valley. You guys will know exactly what I'm talking about once you go into my channel and check that out. It's really, really cool. But Halucha comes out. I'm not really afraid of this thing if I'm being 100% honest. I kind of want a Spikes um, or possibly Brave Bird. What do I want to do? I'm going to Brave Bird here. I'm feeling a little gutsy today, so we're going to Brave Bird. Halucha is a scary Pokemon, so we got to kind of try to... We, we got to try to play this thing as best as we could. Not going to do much. Uh, if anything, my recoil from my Brave Bird is going to do more damage. And next turn, I think it's best if we Roost. We're going to Roost this next turn because that's a lot of damage that we took this turn. Unnecessary damage. Though I, it's, I guess you can say it's necessary because Halucha is a really big threat. But we're going to Roost here. We have to Roost. We absolutely have to Roost. High Jump Kick. He hits me. I should be able to tank one more. There you go. There you go. Now we talking. Shell Bell. I've never seen that item uh, used in a long time, to be honest. If you guys want to battle me, go to my description down below and also grab my Instagram link. Make sure you guys give me a follow. 
and send me a message and we'll schedule a battle so i'm gonna go roost again because i want skarmory to be in in a really good amount of health i want him to be healthy that does a pretty good amount of damage which probably is a high roll and because Halucha keeps going for the high jump kick, I'm honestly just going to start setting up, uh, setting up my spikes. Setting up my spikes here. Um, we're at full health here because of the leftovers. Beautiful. Beautiful. My mic is probably too high and that's that I might have to edit that. Okay. Um, I said I was going to go to spikes, right? I'm getting thirsty. It's really hard in here. Okay. You withdraw Halucha. Rightfully so. Mammoth Swine doesn't threat. I'm not afraid of the Mammoth Swine, and I probably should be. Go for the spikes. I'm honestly gonna go for another set of spikes to just, just to see what this Mammoth Swine wants to do to me. It has leftovers, which is some good information. Go for one more layer of spikes. Halucha's probably gonna go down to the to the stealth rock, to be honest. If not, it's gonna be really close. I'm gonna go blizzard. That's a lot of health that he took from us. I'm gonna go spikes here Okay, so we're not gonna take another blizzard of the face So what we're gonna do here is switch into lantern and hit this thing with the skull I'm not trying to take another uh, Probably not lantern to be honest. I think a zoomerl is a better a better choice You can run a zoomerl with an assault vest. It, it works perfectly fine. I suggest you guys try it out I'm gonna try it out soon Papa comes out You're gonna hit me with the ice beam which isn't gonna do anything And then I don't have aqua jet so I can't threaten you with an aqua jet But I I am running play rough and play rough is gonna do a lot of damage to you Um or not play rough um the water type attack what is it called liquidation Yeah liquidation I'm afraid to go for the liquidation to be honest So I think I am going to hit you with the play rough if this is a choice band to play rough it might knock you out Earthquake Mixed mammoth swine That does some damage and I'm not gonna lie, but I'm still gonna play rough here Doesn't knock it. I this is why I wish I was running So let me tell you something this this uh azumarill here is from omega ruby alpha sapphire But what I did is you, you, you know how you go to the battle tower and this guy asks you if you want to make your pokemon eligible for rank battles well this azumarill is now eligible for rank battles but aqua jet is an egg move and we lost aqua jet in the in the process so we kind of have to sacrifice it sometimes i just like shiny azumarill so i want to use them in rank battles you know you know what i'm saying i hope you know what i'm saying partial probably appleton oh that's not appleton that's a uh, chandelure and a chandelure outspeeds us chandelure also takes a lot of damage so we're gonna let azumarill go down here we d we don't outspeed I uh, highly doubt we out, uh, I highly doubt we will outspeed it We're gonna get knocked out because of the shadow ball. This is the perfect opportunity for us to go into the lantern Go lantern here. I love this Pokemon to be honest. It's been putting in some work lantern Hit it with the scald because we threaten it with the scald Whatever he comes into next, I'm gonna Volt Switch. Oh, ooh, ooh. Okay, you want to play that Dynamax battle? I got a Gigantamax Pokemon waiting in the back. Hopefully, it doesn't knock at us. Not, not. What? What does knock at us? What does that even mean? Knock us out. Knock us out. I hope it doesn't knock us out. Not knock at us. Okay. Max Phantasm. Take it. Take it. We take that pretty well to be honest Lowers our special defense or our defense. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter Burn it burn it. No, okay. That's fine. I'm gonna scald again I'm gonna scald again Lantern I love you. I love you lantern. I love my lantern. I Hope you guys like my lantern also if not love it. I hope you guys love my lantern Lowers my defense again. No biggie because if you go into a physical attacker next turn, I'm honestly just gonna switch into Skarmory Chandler blows up I love that Chandler cry. I really hope you guys can hear it because it doesn't see it doesn't seem like I'm recording audio for some reason Let me see uh, properties
Hmm. I don't. I don't know. What did I do? What did I do? Okay, my capture card went black. My capture card went black. Okay, Intellion comes out. It's a physical Intellion, I believe. Because of that, we're going Skarmory. I hope it didn't mess up everything up. I really hope it, it didn't mess up my audio either. Because once I did that, and it messed up my audio. Okay. You turn rightfully so again. That's fine. I can see why people use physical Italian because of the U-turn. But I, I personally wouldn't. I, I wouldn't use Italian as a as a pivot Pokemon. You can also use Cinderace and Rillaboom as pivot Pokemon too. But I would honestly use Cinderace more of a pivot Pokemon than I would Rillaboom and Italian. But that's just me. To each their own. So he rage quits. Okay, so it took me a long time to find an opponent, but we finally found one anti ice ice Bringing a really cool team. Braviary is a cool Pokemon. Tentacruel is a really cool Pokemon Weavile is cool. Serena is cool. Crocodile. He's just bringing so or he or she is bringing so many cool Pokemon I'm excited for this battle. So I think we're gonna start with Darmanitan like we normally do and then go from there So Darmanitan and then we're gonna go with Zumero. Well, we're not gonna go in that order because it all depends on how the battle's gonna go. But we're gonna start Darmanitan and go from there. So I'm ready for this battle, Ant Ice Ice. Ant Ice Ice. That's that's cool. That's a cool name. All right. We're rocking. Oh man, my lead card didn't save. It's because I found an opponent who was bringing nothing but legendary. So I kind of just quit, and it didn't save my lead card. So we're gonna have to redo it. All right, Dim Dimoret comes out. I bring out the Darmanitan with a Choice Scarf Darmanitan. So this Weavile, if, unless it's Choice Scarf, it's going down. And I'm gonna do it with the Super Power because it's gonna do more damage than the Flare Blitz. Super Power comes out, or not Choice Bad, uh, well, Choice Scarf, yes, but also Focus Sash. I run a Focus Sash Weavile myself because of how frail this thing is. It's probably gonna hit me with something really bad. I don't even wanna know what it's gonna hit me with. Pickpocket. Steals my scarf, and that's big. That's kind of well. The good news is now is that he's trapped with the scarf now. So that's good. That's really good because now I'm gonna switch into my Skarmory, and I'm gonna set up the Stealth Rock because this this Demoray, this this Weavile is basically pitiful now. He won't be able to do my, uh, do anything. What are you gonna do, Ice 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 Baby? I like his shirt, by the way. I like your shirt with the uh, Galarian Slowbro. I like it a lot. So it's going to be a battle of birds now. Braviary comes out, and I'm going to switch into my Skarmory here. Not really afraid of the, of the Braviary, if I'm being honest with you. So I'm going to go Stealth Rock here. Stealth Rock because the Weavile is... Uh, it's threatening now that it has this Choice Scarf. So close combat, not going to do much. Instead, you're going to lower your defenses, which leaves you wide open. And then Stealth Rock. I kind of want to set up a layer of spikes that, now that I'm at it. Because uh, really, depending on what he switches out to next, once I go for the layer of spikes, I'm probably going to bring in Lantern. <laughs> I love... I can't believe that's two opponents that have quitted on me because of my defensive core. Tree Victor, who is the... Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. What does this thing pack in for me? I don't think this thing has uh, fire type attacks. I don't believe it has play rough, it has high jump kick, it has uh, grass type attack, and it has rapid spin is the thing. All right, so because of that, I'm gonna go Brave Bird. Rapid spin, rightfully so. Not gonna do anything to me. I'm gonna go Brave Bird here. Hopefully, it knocks this arena out. Hopefully, it knocks it out. Brave Bird. Because I can't deal with Serena right now. I don't want to deal with her. Lives it. Oh, man. That's not good. That is not good. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go for the Stealth Rock again. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. If you miss... No, oh, you're not missing. No way you're missing that, right? A crit! What kind of matters? Because it's going to determine whether I live my next attack or not. Or the next attack or not. 
That now this puts a little bit of pressure on my opponent because they're kind of forced to hit me with a rapid spin and this gives me an opening to recover my skarmory here. So that's that's basically why I went self rock. You're gonna go rapid spin again, that's fine. Now you're a fast arena. Which is scary and not scary at the same time. I'm gonna go roost here. Getting my health back up to a really good amount. Um, my question is, I I'm gonna go Brave Bird here. If you want to predict the spikes or the Brave Bird, or not the Brave Bird, whatever you want to predict, that's fine. It's a good thing we got rid of the Rapid Spinner because now we can set up the, the Self Rock perfectly fine. Weavile? Oh no, this is um, Crookedil. Which is good. That's not bad. Though the Serena is really weak. The Serena is really weak. Does this thing have Fire Fang? Does it learn Fire Fang? I have a feeling it does. Fire Fang is a move to kind of be afraid of. Um, I'm gonna set, I'm gonna set up the Self Rock and hopefully it doesn't have a Fire Fang. Hey, oh, that's that's a play. That's a good play. That's a really good play. I can't really switch Lantern here. But I think what I am going to do is switch into the Executor. I haven't used Executor. We've tried using him, but it just got knocked out. I'm starting to think it's not a great Pokemon. Well, it's not a great Pokemon. I know that for a fact. But it's not a good Pokemon. All right. Hopefully, we can live an attack from this Crookedo. And hopefully... It goes down to a Leaf Storm. Darkest Larry, gonna do a lot. I know it's gonna do a lot. We live it, and we pop our Citrus Berry. Can we harvest it back, please? Can we please harvest this thing back? Okay, Leaf Storm. Crookedale's going down. That Crookedale got a little bit scary, to be honest. Lowers our special attack by two. Now we gotta switch out next turn. But can we harvest our berry back? Yes, boys, that's what I'm talking about. That's good. That's great news. If Serena wants to come in, I'm gonna hit it with a, uh, a flamethrower. If Weavile comes in, then we probably go down. Braviary. I'm gonna take the opportunity to switch no matter what. Skarmory's gonna be my switch into Bra uh, to Braviary all the time. Switch out my executor. Go into Skarmory here. You're gonna close combat again? You're Dynamaxing this time. What are you gonna do? What are you planning to do? I mean, Dynamax Braviary is kind of scary because if it, if it gets, you know, like bulk up going and stuff like that, then we're in a little bit of a, of a we're in a little bit of a bind, especially since we don't have a choice scarf or anymore. Um, but yeah, Max Air Stream. Gonna get it speed up. I should be able to take that perfectly fine. Get your speed up by one, which is not good at all. Not good at all. If, if I were you, I'd gone for a, a max knuckle this next turn. I'm gonna go. I, I would go max knuckle. I would go max knuckle, and rightfully so, you do. But that's exactly how I would be playing it, to be honest. Now it's a plus one braviary, which is really, really scary. This is why I wish I was running, uh, what's that move called? Whirlwind. I've said that before. All right, so the reason we set up those rocks is because Weavile will go down, Serena will also go down. And uh, I'm gonna roost here. I think I have to roost. I absolutely have to. Max Knuckle again. I don't go down yet, but it's gonna do some damage. Now it's at a plus two. And like I said, that's pretty scary. And I'm gonna roost. We're gonna roost here. Try to get our health back up. And then we're gonna go for a second one. We're gonna go for a second roost here. Hopefully it goes for a, for a close combat or something like that. I hope it goes for a close combat. Because I can't just go Rillaboom. I guess I can't superpower against it. But I can't just go Rillaboom and Dynamax now. I'm gonna go roost again. I almost clicked Brave Bird. Close combat lowers your defenses. We take it. So 
I think how I'm gonna play this now I'm gonna wait for his defenses to drop and then I'm gonna smack it with a with a good attack I don't know what attack I'm gonna smack it with but I'm gonna smack it because Skarmory is not gonna hit too hard so I'm gonna roost again I'm just gonna keep roosting until I find an opening close combat again I'll probably use one more time to get this thing down to minus three. It's a fast Braviary. It's gonna do some damage. It's gonna do a lot of damage to us. I don't mind letting Skarmory go down at this point. The Gudra is in the back, of course, but I got Lantern to deal with that. And that's basically all I'm afraid of at this point. Roost one more time. Close combat, you're at a minus three. I think I kind of want to get this thing to minus four now Get this thing to minus four That way we kind of have a guaranteed knockout Even though it's not guaranteed guaranteed, but you know what I mean Now we're at back at full health and this thing is not doing anything to us. Um, I want to see how much defense drops has had three I'm honestly I, I'm gonna hit it with a brave bird. I'm gonna hit it with a brave bird withdraws you're gonna go tree victor the serena which is gonna go down go down we won the war we won the war now braviary isn't as scary as it was originally i am at a good spot right now tentacruel comes out and to be honest, I'm not afraid of this thing. So what I'm gonna do is switch into Lantern and start and start firing off some discharges. Lantern, my beautiful fish Pokemon, my my angler fish, goes for the Scald. I don't mind the Scald. It's not gonna do anything. Not very effective. Now Tentacruel has a really high special defense, but if we can get this thing to lower it or well If we can get this thing to get paralyzed, then that's that's good news for us. Giga Drain is big Oh, that's not gonna do anything It's not gonna do anything Depending on how much the charge does I might Volt switch next turn Paralyze No, you don't want to paralyze it. That's fine I'm honestly gonna go for another discharge here Giga Drain. I do need Lantern for the Gudra for sure. So it's it's crucial that we start saving my Lantern here. So I'm going to go Discharge one more time. And then I'm going to Volt Switch into the Rillaboom and try to get a sweep going. Try, try, try to get a sweep going. His Gudra's probably Sap Zipper, so I do got to be careful with that. I'm going to go Volt Switch here. Giga Drain again. That's fine. He's kind of winning this battle against the Lantern. Because he's, he's, he's getting residual recovery and that's something we don't have with lantern So we got to be careful with that. I'm gonna go volt switch here And then I think I'm gonna go darmanitan instead and this thing should go down to an earthquake It should go down to an earthquake. Um, maybe I go executor I really want to get you know do something with executor All right, go darmanitan here We're gonna fire off an earthquake, which uh, really should knock this thing out. Earthquake. Earthquake. Drop like an earthquake. Come on, drop it. There you go. La and Tentacruel goes down. I almost said Lantern. No way, Tentacruel looks like Lantern. No way. No way. We're winning this battle, boys. This team is really good. It's it's better than I thought it'd be. Varus comes out the Gudra Varus the Gudra Now we're not locked into any attacks here, so I can u-turn. I want to u-turn and, and go into the lantern Boom does some damage some really good damage at that and I'm gonna go Gudra and then I'm gonna try to fire off some bolt switch or not bolt switches uh, discharges That way I can try to get a paralysis against this thing because this thing does some damage It's probably faster than my uh, exact I was not expecting an earthquake. We're down. We're going down. Lantern, I'm sorry. I am so sorry, Lantern. All right, Executor's the move now. 
Executor is the move. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Draco. I'm gonna drop a Draco on this thing. Withdraws, rightfully so. Braviary comes out. It's gonna take a massive amount of damage. Draco Meteor hits. It should knock it out because Executor has a high special attack. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. That is exactly what I'm talking about. His only Pokemon now is Gudra. Because Weavile comes in, it gets knocked out to the, due to the Stealth Rock. Oh man, this this is a good battle right here. Um, I'm not gonna let you go down yet. I'm not gonna let you go down yet. Instead, I'm gonna go into the uh, Azumarill. I'm gonna threaten this thing with the Play Rough. Bop, um. What are you gonna go for here? Breaking Swipe. Not gonna do anything. Not gonna do anything. And then I'm gonna finish this with a play rough. Assuming we don't miss. Power Whip. You might finish me instead. No, we live in. We live in, boys. Play rough, here we go. We did it, boys. We did it. Now his only Pokemon, Weavile was gonna come in and Weavile's gonna get knocked out because of the self rock. We did a really great job. Don't disconnect, please. Just, just battle it out. Awesome. Weavile goes down to the Stealth Rock. So a KO for Skarmory there. Skarmory did some work. Awesome battle. I love your name, Ant Ice Ice. I'm going to take your lead card because it's awesome too. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you guys leave a like. Take your lead card. If you guys enjoyed, your, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys comment down below on who the MVP of this battle was. Most valuable Pokemon. And subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Sword and Shield videos. Again, if you guys ever want to battle me, grab my Instagram link, shoot me a message. But overall, I will see you guys next time.